the cage match. I am Harrison Brown. I am your host, and I am very excited. And it is not for the reason you think I am, which is the fact that the most anticipated film of the year comes out next Friday, The Vow. <laughs> <laughs> now I am a sucker for any romantic comedy dramedy with Rachel McAdams. But that is not what you're gonna see here tonight. <laughs> If any of you are here because you received a flyer saying you can go to a free test screening of The Vow, you are in the wrong theater! <laughs> <laughs> because tonight, there ain't gonna be any vows. <laughs> Some might say there will be battles the size of most divorces. <laughs> Those of you not laughing are children of divorce. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay to laugh about our pain. <laughs> As I like to say, no pain, no gain. <laughs> In fact, I've never said that before. <laughs> because pain hurts! <laughs> I'll tell you what else hurts. <laughs> Liver poisoning! <laughs> Don't get it! <laughs> Tonight, one of the two teams that will hit this stage will fall to the ground in defeat as if they have LIVER POISONING! <laughs> One of her family members died of liver poisoning. <laughs> she knows how to laugh it off! <laughs> laugh it off! <laughs> laugh it off. <laughs> Folks, tonight, we do have an amazing show. No! Rachel McAdams is not here to do a Q&A after the show, which is what many of you in the Academy would like. But you know what? We don't buy votes for The Vow. That movie stands on its own. <laughs> Folks, enough of my obsession with The Vow. <laughs> Yes, it does come out February 10th. And yes, I can't get enough of that trailer. Have you seen it? <laughs> I watched that trailer and I feel like I watched the entire movie. Will I go pay and see it next Friday, February 10th? Yes! <laughs> but tonight, our championship team returns for the seventh week in a row with the sixth week Championship wins. This is their set, because they've won six times. They're here for an additional week. The, the seven times! We can only hope that the vow is number one at the box office for seven weeks in a row. Thank goodness I haven't buried that joke into the ground. Or drove it into the ground. ground. Planes, trains, and automobiles! <laughs> Sometimes when you make a movie like The Vow, you know you have a hit. <laughs> Sometimes when you make a movie about whales stuck in Alaska, it's gotta be a flop! <laughs> Yes, I find that music in the trail. Yeah, I like it. I don't know. It's some cool indie band. Am I going to see the movie now that I've seen it in front of every fucking movie I've seen in the theater the past two months? No! The vow I will see. <laughs> Folks, talk about derailing. More 
so than those whales stuck in that ice. <laughs> How many more January movies can I call out? Boom! Shakalaka! <laughs> the shack attack is back! <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. <laughs> Next time, wear a rain poncho! <laughs> <laughs> Folks, our champions are 6 and 0, oh, all right? They are dominating team after team. They are on a roll, a Pillsbury roll. <laughs> Golden jokes left and right. <laughs> but tonight they face a challenger from space. <laughs> Normally, this stage is reserved for humans. But tonight, we have a very special guest from space ready to fight and dominate the cage match stage. Ladies and gentlemen, it is dark outside. And give it up for your challengers, Gay Moon! <laughs> as the amount of astronauts on the first Apollo three missions. That's all, that joke was great in 68. <laughs> <laughs> My question for you is, are you ready? Yeah! Champions are ready for battle. Give it up for your six times in a row champion, Heather and Miles!